All right, now One UI 6.0 has been fantastic. We have got some amazing features on this situation of One UI based on Android 14. Many of us have been enjoying these features. And now the next big thing in the Samsung world is the launch of S24 series. And along with that, the release of One UI 6.1. Yes, the Galaxy S24 series will come with One UI 6.1 out of the box. And subsequently, we will be getting it on the predecessors. And the first one to receive the One UI 6.1 will be the Galaxy S23 series. And already we have got some leaks about the features which are coming up on the One UI 6.1. One of the tipsters on X has leaked some of the information about One UI 6.1, a few screenshots which reveal some important features. As expected, the One UI 6.1 is going to bring some generative AI features, including the AI generated wallpapers. It seems to generate a wallpaper through AI, all we need to do is enter the subject name and the background name. The AI will then generate a wallpaper based on what you have keyed in. Another screenshot indicates that we can add the weather effects onto the lock screen which is fantastic. The next big AI feature which is expected to come on the 6.1 is the ability to relocate the objects on any photos that you have taken by pressing and holding on that object or the subject and repositioning it manually. We have seen this feature on Google's Pixel phones and this is expected to come to Samsung Galaxy phones through One UI 6.1. On another screenshot, it says auto format no text. Turn big blocks of text into easy to read bullet points with the auto format option in Samsung Notes. You can even auto format handwritten notes after converting them to text. So inside the Samsung Note application, we will have some AI integration. If you have saved a big article on the notes, the AI which is integrated into the notes can convert that large text into bullet points helping us understand the entire note easily and quickly. That is just fantastic, isn't it? Another feature talks about resuming the edits. It says keep editing where you have left off. Any drawings or decorations you add to images can be moved, re-edited or removed the next time you come back to edit it. The next feature is voice focus for clearer calls. Now this feature was made available on some of the Samsung mid-range phones where we can set the voice focus to remove the background sounds so that the other person who is talking on the call can clearly hear our voice. Now this has been there on the mid-range phones and now apparently this feature is going to come to the flagship phones as well. Of course by default the flagship phones will clear the background noise but we can have control over it with this particular feature. We'll be able to further filter the background noise and make the voice clearer to the other person who is talking over a call. That is cool. Apart from these, we have got another important feature for battery protection. Here it says keeping your battery at full 100% charge for a longer time can reduce its lifespan. Choose an option below to protect your battery and make it last longer. We get three different options. One is basic protection. Here it says when your battery is charged to 100%, charging will stop until the battery level drops down to 95% and then charging will start again. This will repeat until your phone is disconnected from the charger. This provides a basic level of protection for your battery and ensures that your phone is charged to at least 95%. Which means the battery will not continuously charge the phone when it reaches 100%. It will stop charging it until the battery reaches 95% and then it will start charging it again so that there is no continuous load on the battery which is going to protect it and increase the lifespan. The second option is adaptive protection. Charging will pause at 80% while you are sleeping and finish charging to 100% just before you wake up. It says this provides moderate protection for people who charge their phones overnight. And sleep time is estimated based on your phone usage pattern. The phone will recognize your sleeping patterns based on the usage. And if you are someone who charged the phone overnight, and if you have selected this particular adaptive protection option, the phone will pause the charging at 80% when you have connected the charger overnight. And just before you wake up, it is going to charge the rest of the 20%, which sounds brilliant. Then we have got maximum protection. Your battery will completely stop charging when it reaches 80% and will not resume unless the battery level drops below 80%. This provides the most protection for your battery, but your phone will never be charged higher than 80%. So it looks like with these options, Samsung is helping us to protect the battery and increase its lifespan, which is good to see. But yes, there will be some compromises when it charges only up to 80% with the maximum protection. You may end up losing all the juice by evening if you are a heavy user. User, so you might have to think and 
and select these options here. And the last feature I would like to discuss is about the live translate voice calls. This time it is not just in English. The AI can live translate your calls from one language to another language, which is again great. If at all you're talking to somebody who don't understand your language, or if you're getting a call from someone who talks a different language which you don't understand, then you can use live translate voice call feature to translate the voice from one language to another. These are some amazing features which are expected to come on One UI 6.1 and I am kind of excited for some of the AI features. You let me know which features interest you the most and let me know if you would like to see any specific features on One UI 6.1, drop a comment and share your thoughts and opinions about these features which have been leaked now on the internet. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button to become a part of Apex community and give this video a like if you find this video informative. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.